ओम नम शिव स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज 4.4 पॉइंट फोर फ्रॉम द चैप्टर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स हियर वी विल सी द जियोमेट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द लीनियर इक्वेशन हैविंग वन वेरिएबल एंड ऑल्सो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट देम इन टू वेरिएबल्स तो फर्स्ट वन इज गिवेन एज द गिव द जियोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन और रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री एज एन इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल एंड इन टू वेरिएबल सो फर्स्ट वी विल रिप्रेजेंट वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री इन वन वेरिएबल द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द सोल्यूशन ऑन द नंबर लाइन गिवेन बिलो वेयर वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री इज ट्रीटेड एज एन इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल हियर द गिवेन इक्वेशन इज वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री That means here only one variable present y. X is not given, so that means the coefficient of x is zero here. But that is we don't need now because it is asked to represent in one variable. So y equals to three. That means it is only the solution for this equation. Only the y value will become three. So it will represent as a number line only. So a number line is drawn where the positive section of number negative section of number on the both side of the zero so y equals to 3 that means this point only this point in this number line will represent the y equals to 3 this in one variable now when we will see for the two variables y equals to 3 represent a straight line passing through the point 0 3 Zero three y because here the value of y coordinate is given as three, but the x coordinate is missing. So that means the coefficient of x is zero. That's why zero into x will remain zero. So the y co x coordinate is zero. So it will represent as the line passing through the point zero three, and it will be always parallel to the x axis as y coordinate is given only. so it will be always parallel to x axis so it is just a collection of all the points of the plane having their y coordinate as 3 so y equals to 3 we can write them as a two variable equation this way that giving the coefficient of the x as 0 so 0 into x plus y equals to 3 0 into x will remain 0 so no no changes here actually so y equals to keeping this to the right side we will get 3 minus 0 x now putting some value of x we will get the value of y so first we put the zero as x so 0 into 0 y equals to 3 when we put x equals to 3 3 0 into 3 0 so y equals to 3 again when we put minus 5 in x so we will get 0 into minus 5 also 0 so y equals to 3 so for every value of x whatever the value of x we will get y as 0 y equals to 3 only so on the graph how we can write draw them so first coordinate is 0 3 so first coordinate will be 0 3 where there is no value of x so only 3 as the y next 3 3 3 in the x 3 in the y so the coordinate will be 3 3 and the last one minus 5 3 so minus 5 is negative of the x axis and 3 in the positive of the y axis so minus 5 3 0 3 3 3 these three coordinates are plotted now through this coordinates three coordinates which line will be passes that will be the y equals to 3 so these three coordinates are joined and extended on both side so y equals to 3 this equation we have got on the graph paper in two variables where the x axis and y axis are there so it gives the arrows on both side let's see the next one give the geometric representation of 2x plus 9 equals to 0 as an equation in one variable and two variables same also so in one variable 2x plus 9 we can write as x equals to minus 9 by 2 9 if moved to the right side so minus 9 and 2 in cross multiplying minus 9 by 2 and 9 by 2 in decimal minus 4.5 so on number line as it is in one variable first we have to draw so in number line where will be the minus 4.5 between minus 4 and minus 5 so similar here also positive section negative section is shown and between minus 4 and minus 5 the minus 4.5 is here in this particular middle point and it is marked so this is the solution for the equation 2x plus 9 equals to 0 when it is considered as one variable here x is present but y is missing because the coefficient of y is 0 here 
let's see the next one with the two variables same equation so in two variables 2x plus 9 equals to 0 represents a straight line passing through the point minus 4.5 and 0 just now we have seen that x become minus 4.5 so the x coordinate is minus 4.5 and y coordinate is 0 since y is missing so coefficient of y is 0 so in parallel to it y axis as x coordinate is given so y y axis it will parallel to so it is the collection of all the points of the plane having x coordinate as 4.5 so here x coordinate only given minus 4.5 and y coordinate is 0 so 2x plus 9 equals 0 this equation we can write as a equation in two variables putting the coefficient of y as 0 so 2x plus 0 into y plus 9 so no changes made but we have written it in two variables x and y keeping the 0 as the coefficient of y now moving the 9 and the y part to the right side we have got the 2x equals to minus 9 minus 0 into y since it is a coefficient as 0 for the y so we can write it is as y equals 2 as we have done the previous but as it is that x is not 0 so we can write as it is as x equals 2 so keep it in mind that if it is given x coefficient as 0 so we will represent as y equals to something if y coefficient is 0 then we will represent as x equals to something so minus 9 minus 0 into y 2 is cross multiplied so we have got minus 9 minus 0 into y by 2 now we will choose few value of y we will get the value of x so first we put y equals to 0 so 0 into 0 0 minus 9 by 2 minus 4.5 that is the x value if we put 5 as y so 0 into 5 0 minus 9 by 2 again so minus 4.5 if we put a negative value of y that is minus 4 so minus 4 into 0 also 0 so no changes minus 9 by 2 again minus 4.5 now these three coordinates we have to plot on the graph paper so first one is minus 4.5 0 so minus 4.5 must be between minus 4 and minus 5 here in the middle the first one is minus 4.5 0 so minus 4.5 here so it is minus 4.50 next minus 4.5 5 so minus 4.5 and positive y 5 so it is 5 so this minus 4.5 so this coordinate is minus 4.55 and third one minus 4.5 minus 4 so minus 4.5 and minus 4 in the y axis so this is the minus 4.5 5 4 now these three coordinates if we join will get our required graph so first we have to make it in a single line now join it and extend on both end so we will get our required graph that is the 2x plus 9 equals to 0 so we will write here 2x plus 9 equals to 0 so this is the equation of this line representing the 2x plus 9 equals 0 now write down the coordinate it is minus 4.5 minus 4 this is minus 4.5 0 and this is minus 4.5 5 so these are the three coordinates joined we have got the required equation so these are the two questions from the exercise 4.4 the third one is the miscellaneous one let's see draw the graph of the equation y equals to 2x minus 3 and also find at what point the graph intersect y x axis so first we have to draw the equation y equals to 2x minus 3 then we have to find out at what point it is intersecting x axis so first the given equation equals to y equals to 2x minus 3 so as it is represented already in y equals to so no need to change so we have to put the value of x something so for which we will get the value of y so first we have put the x equals to 0 so if we put x equals to 0 so 2 into 0 0 so y equals to minus 3 if we put x equals to 2 so 2 to the 4 so 2 into 2 minus 3 2 to the 4 4 minus 3 y equals to 1 so if we put x equals to 5 so 2 5 the 10 10 minus 3 
सेवन सो वाई कॉज टू सेवन सो दिस आर द गिवेन चोजन एक्स वैल्यू फॉर विच वी हैव गॉट वाई वैल्यू सो द कोऑर्डिनेट्स बिकम जीरो माइनस थ्री फॉर फर्स्ट फॉर द सेकेंड वन टू वन एंड फॉर द थर्ड फाइव सेवन नो दिस थ्री कोऑर्डिनेट्स वी हैव टू प्लॉट ऑन द ग्राफ पेपर सो जीरो माइनस थ्री सो जीरो इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो माइनस थ्री दिस वन दिस कोऑर्डिनेट इज जीरो माइनस थ्री टू वन सो टू हेयर वन हेयर सो टू वन टू इज द एक्स वैल्यू वाई वैल्यू वन एंड फाइव सेवन फाइव सेवन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव सेवन सो दिस इज फाइव सेवन दिस इज टू वन दिस इज जीरो माइनस थ्री नाउ लेट्स सी आर दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स ऑन द सिंगल लाइन और नॉट येस दे आर ऑन द सेम लाइन सो वेन वी हैव कॉन्फर्म इट इज ऑन अ सिंगल लाइन ड्रॉ एंड एक्सटेंड सो दिस इज आवर रिक्वायर्ड equation for the y equals to y equals to 2x minus 3 now write down the coordinate it is 0 minus 3 this one 2 1 and the last one is 5 7 okay now also the question is asked also what find what point the graph intersect x axis so this graph is intersecting the x axis at this point and this point is marked so it is the middle point or between point of 1 and 2 so it must be 1.5 because it is after 1 but before 2 so 1.5 but only it is an x axis there is no length in the y axis so it must be the coordinate that is 1.5 comma Zero. So this is the coordinate. So we have to write down it that the graph intersect the x-axis at the point one point five comma zero. So these are the some application from the linear equation. So in the next video we will see few more. Till then, namaste bye.